Well, summer is quickly approaching, but it sure doesn't feel like it here in the North State. This winter-like weather has cast a dark cloud not only on residents, but on businesses that rely on the sun. Action News reporter Court Clopping is just back from Oroville, where conditions are putting a temporary freeze on spending. Court. Kira, heavy rainfall all winter has led to a full lake in Orville. While that's great news for those who love the outdoors, the cold weather we've been having is unfortunately keeping too many people indoors. Oroville is home to several popular outdoor recreation areas, from Lake Oroville to the Forebay. But chilly conditions lasting late into the year have put a damper on a lot of activities. We've had a lot of windy days, and even when it hasn't been raining, the wind, it's just too dangerous for people to go out there. So we've had to can cancel some courses and camps. It's a hard hit for a city like Oroville that prides itself as being the city where the fun starts. Recreation and tourism is a big uh, economic driver for this area, um, especially during the uh, you know summertime. Many thought a full lake would draw more visitors this year, but so far Mother Nature isn't cooperating. We were looking for a huge tourism season, but the recent cold snap and uh, inclement weather is really uh, has put a damper on uh, some of the um, the tourism and recreation uh, businesses in the area. Junior hires on a school trip from Barry School in Yuba City did brave the water at the Four Bay today, but say it wasn't easy. I jumped in the water and it was really cold, and when I got up, it was kind of hard to breathe at first. We don't get sunburn on the bright side. But it's kind of disappointing we can't go in the water. And the grown-ups didn't want anything to do with it. We're kind of hanging back at the barbecue, trying to keep warm and making sure students are staying warm as well. Recreational organizers say they're optimistic the masses will return when the sunshine does. There's been a lot of people that have been disappointed that they haven't been able to come out telling us that they wanted to. So we expect it to be in full swing once the weather really warms up. But Robin says many have already found out they don't need to be on the water to enjoy what Orville has to offer. Some of the tourists that have come to the area haven't been able to do as much recreating as they'd hoped. But they've come into town and have been enjoying some of the museums and some of the other attractions in the area.